Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. According to Niamey's Interior Ministry, the temporary restrictions are a result of the deteriorating security situation. The Nigerian military authorities who took control in a coup in July have forbidden United Nations organizations, non-governmental organizations, and other foreign organizations from operating in the country's military operation zones, the Interior Ministry reported on Thursday. The decision was issued in response to the current security situation and the ongoing operational engagement of the Nigerian armed forces, according to a statement from the ministry that was shown on national television and covered by local media. The announcement added that all activities and all movements of the organizations in the zones of operations are temporarily suspended, but did not identify the locations that were impacted. Days after the military coup, the UN vowed to remain engaged and committed to resolving the issue in Niger, where 3.3 million people, according to the UN, need access to food. After the coup leaders blocked Niger's airspace, UN Acting Resident Coordinator Nicole Kouassi expressed alarm about the temporary suspension of the organization's humanitarian air service flights. A number of military agreements with France, which has 1,500 troops stationed in Niamey to aid in the battle against jihadist insurgencies in the Sahel region, were cancelled last month, according to Niger's new military rulers. Insisting that the collaboration agreements were made with the legitimate authorities of its former colony, Paris has yet refused to withdraw its forces. The French government has consistently disputed the legitimacy of Niger's new authorities and refused to carry out their orders, including a recent request that the French ambassador depart Niamey within 48 hours. The military chiefs are also at conflict with the Cowers, the regional group for West Africa, which has taken a firm stance against the Niamey coup and threatened to use force if diplomatic efforts to restore civilian authority in the nation are unsuccessful. The regional council underlined in a statement released on Thursday its appeal to the military authorities to reinstate democratic order in the uranium-rich landlocked nation, emphasizing its opposition to a suggested three-year transition phase. The demand of the authority of Ikawa's heads of state and government is clear. The military authorities in Niger must immediately restore constitutional order by liberating and reinstating H.E. Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum, it continued. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.